What's up, YouTubers? Hey, this is JB Washington Art, and I'm sitting up here in my studio just wanting you uh, to do a little video vlog, pretty much about the non working artists. And what I mean by that is those of us who work, you know, jobs that have nothing to do with art and our challenges that we face as being an artist. I know you're looking at my background. As you see, I'm a comic book fan, right? And I love comics. I've always been in the comics since I was a kid. And, you know, wanted to work in the business. But I made some bad decisions in my life that directed me a different path. And and I wish I didn't do that. But, hey, you live, you learn. But I still love art. And I still enjoy reading comic books. And, but I'm working towards that goal today. Um, so, tell me, what's some of the challenges that you face as being uh, an artist, but you don't work? an art job. You go to your regular job every day, you, you're focusing on other stuff in your life, but you love art, you, you wish you could do a gallery, you wish you could work in comics or animation or be an illustrator uh, for magazines and sometimes um, it can be uh, exciting to think about that or it can also be um, disappointing. You know, uh, I found myself plenty of times getting depressed because I wish I would have made different decisions with my art. Uh, sometimes I do get discouraged because I wish somebody would notice my work and maybe give me a chance. Um, but there are times I'm happy. Uh, I go through emotions of being really, really excited about my future in animation or art. You know, maybe one day it might happen or I'm really working towards doing my own creation. Um, it's many things that we go through mentally as artists working nine to five. Me myself, I, I definitely work a job that has nothing to do with my art, nothing to do with animation, nothing to do with me having to draw, illustrate, make designs, logos, nothing of that nature. Pretty much I work a job where I stock vending machines. I stock drinks, I stock snacks, you know, food, I drop a vending truck and that's pretty much what I've been doing. But my passion and desire is to be an artist, an illustrator, you know, to work towards that field. Is it easy? No, it's not easy. It's a challenge. I draw every day. I mostly post majority of all my artwork on, on my Instagram page, JB Washington Art, on my Instagram page. Um, it, it, it gets tough sometimes, but you just can't give up. You just constantly got to keep doing it. You know, whether you get two likes, whether you get three likes, whether you get a hundred likes or even more, you know, you, you don't want life to discourage you from living your dream and being who you are. You know, you can always live your dream. You can always make it in your dream. You can be who you are. You don't have to give up or quit because an editor may not have noticed you. I sent off nine portfolios to different comic book companies. Uh, I haven't heard anything back, not from one. I don't know why. It could be that a whole bunch of artists are sending out stuff to the same companies. A whole bunch of artists are trying to do the same thing I'm doing. But it's okay. You know, you can't let that make you quit. You can't let that make you feel like, yo, I can't do it. I won't be successful in the art world. I'm constantly going to give up and kind of going to quit. You don't have to. No, you know, don't let that take you down because you are gifted. You are talented. You are a creator and you have the ability to create your own. You have the ability to make and, and design, you know, being an artist. There's a freedom of being an artist. You, uh, you're, if you're a cartoonist, if you're an abstract artist, if you're a painter, if you're a digital artist, no matter what it is, you don't ever have to quit because you may be working a job that has nothing to do with your artwork. You may be working a job that has nothing uh, encouraging that can lead you in the art direction, but it's okay. Take those steps, take those failures, take those those things that discourage you and take that energy and challenge and channel it into your artwork, you know? I've got a lot of ideas just based off of the work that I do. Now it's just the challenge of putting it into a story. And how would I put it into a story? I don't know, but that is like a lot of note taking I've been doing. So I just tell people, you know, we work a nine to five that has nothing to do with our artwork. And it's challenging because you see artists out there who, who work within the field. Um, you've reached out to people and they're artists and people that work in the business that's not even reached you back. 
I tell you what, don't get discouraged by that because if they haven't contacted you, I promise you it was nothing personal with them. Most likely they probably get so many emails. They probably get so many people asking for advice that maybe they haven't gotten around to yours or maybe it could be just overwhelming for them because you, they, they live lives too, you know. And I would just say, don't be discouraged over that. Don't be discouraged over them. You know, just keep drawing. Draw every day. Keep your pad with you. Keep going. Don't ever give up and don't ever quit. You know, when you clock into your job, use your surroundings, your resources around you to give you more creative ideas for your artwork. Me, I got a lot of creative ideas for my artwork, you know, and and that's for me just being encouraged on my job. You know, there are rough days I have at work. But it motivates me to be like, you know what, I'm going to go home and I'm going to draw harder. Because I know that's what I want to do. You know, so I'll tell you what. You know, um, tell me what the challenges are. Tell me the difficulties that you have as being an artist who work a, a, not a regular 9 to 5. That has nothing to do with artwork. And how do you keep yourself motivated and how do you keep yourself encouraged? So this is Jay. James Washington, which I call myself JB Washington Art. I hope you find me up on Instagram and I hope you really like this video. Give me a thumbs up. And if you didn't like the video, it's okay to give it a thumbs down. I don't expect everybody to like everything that I do. And I'm good with that. Hey, y'all have a good one and I'll see you next time. Peace.